It brings back the memories of all the times I said, if I could just make it in Hollywood, if I could just have that show, if I'm just successful, when I was worried about paying the rent, and, and it, uh, it, it's an extremely humbling experience. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Walk of Fame ceremony presented by the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce and the Hollywood Historic Trust. I want you to know that we are all very proud in Hollywood today to honor a young lady for her achievements in television that young lady is E.T.'s Mary Hart. Yes, yes. Yes, indeed. There are several people who are gonna say a few words about Mary, but, uh, and usually at this time, oh my Lord, look what's coming up the street. This is a very special day for me. Johnny Grant and I have been at hundreds of these ceremonies, but none has ever touched me quite like this one does today. A chance to honor such a wonderfully talented young lady as Mary Hart. And it's pretty personal with me because for six years now, she and I have been over there on Colorado Boulevard telling you about the Tournament of Roses Parade on the first of the year. And it's been a wonderful friendship and something that I value tremendously. And Mary, it thrills me beyond words to be able to know that from today on, when the people of the world walk up and down Hollywood Boulevard, they're going to know that we of Hollywood had great appreciation for your talents and great affection for you as a person, Mary Hart. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bill. Well? It's already being walked on. <laughs> Mary has been nominated for two Emmy Awards, one in 1985 for hosting the Tournament of Roses Parade, an experience uh, she has shared with the Chamber's Bill Walsh for the past six years on Fox Television. Now, the other nomination was for hosting the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1987. Now, despite her busy schedule, Mary has been a tireless crusader for many charitable causes most notably the Children's Miracle Network. She has also been a spokesperson for the John Tracy Clinic for the Hearing Impaired. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Hart. Our star. I knew I should have asked Craig for the waterproof mascara today, and I forgot. It has been a whole week of celebration. But just a few moments ago, as I was standing on the 10th floor of the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, looking down on the street here, I couldn't help but remember 10 years ago, exactly 10 years ago, when I packed my bags in Oklahoma City and I decided to head out and see if I could make it in the big time, namely in Hollywood. As a kid in the early 60s, I had been out here with mom and dad and had walked up and down Hollywood Boulevard and had gazed at the stars that line this street. And my brothers and I had put our hands and our feet over at Man's Chinese Theater. And I thought about all those movie stars we went to see on Saturday and Sunday afternoons and thought, wow, just like we probably all did when we were growing up. At that time, 10 years ago, when I was packed up, ready to come out, I didn't have a job, but boy, I had a lot of dreams. I had had some experience in television, but it was relatively limited. I came out at that time, I met a man by the name of Norman Brokaw at the William Morris Agency. I mean, here. that, you don't get any bigger or better than that. That's right. And here we are 10 years later, Norman, we're, we're joined together here on the, on the Hollywood Boulevard. But, I dreamed about having, just getting a good job, something that would pay the rent. Little did I know that I would be standing here about to get my own star, because I think even my wildest dreams did not include my own star on the Walk of Fame. I came out here with my own dreams, but after the 10 years I've spent here, what I know so very clearly is that we don't ever accomplish anything just by ourselves. 
We can't ever claim all the glory or all the credit. I happen to be in the end of the business that gets the most attention, that gets the most praise. But over the seven years that I have been together with the probably 200 people now at Entertainment Tonight, I have felt so much a part of a family and want so much to say that we all deserve our names on this star because it's not just me, it's a whole wonderfully talented, dedicated group of people who, yes, at times have their own frustrations, and sure, of course, at times we want to wring each other's necks, but it has been a wonderfully dedicated, loving group of people that has gotten us to 2,000 shows on Entertainment Tonight with many more to go, and this star on the Walk of Fame. So Entertainment Tonight, all of you guys here from our staff and our crew, I love you all very dearly, and this is our star today. It's one of the most fabulous days that I can remember in the seven years I've been a part of the staff. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Any congratulations? Yeah, congratulations, Mary. You look beautiful. You know how you said this star is all of ours? Which piece is mine? <laughs> I certainly would like to acknowledge the people who have been up here speaking. Lucy, thank you so much for your wonderful words. I feel so grateful to be a part of the Paramount family also. Michael, Ira, Diane, thank you all for being here, all of my friends, my mother and father who are, who are over here. You didn't think I'd get walked on like this, did you? I want to thank all of you, and before I say my last goodbye, I want you to meet my husband of five weeks, Bert Sugarman. It's not often a girl gets a Hollywood star and a Hollywood husband all in a month. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. It's so exhilarating. I can't tell you. Mary, if you would, let's go down and unveil the star. We proudly welcome to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Mary Hart. busy you are and that you're not going to be able to sneak over here to look at this star very often, but we do have a replica of your star. Tilt it down, Johnny. Down. Tilt it down. auditioning people for that job for the last week. No, my husband just volunteered. <laughs> well, thank you. Bert, let's ask a quick question. What do you think? I'm very proud of my wife. She's worked hard for years and years at her craft. She's got a terrific team of people behind her. She's proud of them as they're proud of her, and I'm very happy today. Thank you. It was just great to see Mary so happy, and, and I'm, I'm one person who knows how deserving she is of this star, and uh, what else can I say, you know? I mean, it's, it's a real tribute to what she's done when she came out of uh, South Dakota, and a real tribute to what the show Entertainment Tonight has done in its 2000th episode. I'd like to meet my, my friend Jim Van Messel, who's in charge of producing this show. Hi, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few thoughts for you. No, I think, it, I think it's super, Mary, because what you said I think is very true. There's so many little kids all out there who watch TV, go to movies, and someday they say, someday I'm going to make it. And you see so many stories that don't happen, and yours did. And I, I'm, I'm thrilled to be a little part of it, and I'm ever so happy for you. Everyone keeps talking about this being a symbol of Mary making it, and okay, I'll congratulate her on that. But I know Mary, and so I say congratulations on one more step in the beginning, because we haven't seen what you really can do yet. Congratulations and love. Well, Mary, I see that you're just two stars away from Anne Sheridan, who was known in the old days as the oomph girl. So I think you have a fair chance at inheriting the title, and that's fine with me. Congratulations. Oh, my God! Anne Sheridan! Now, is this where they bury the people? <laughs> I have the world's greatest fans. I had no idea that those people had gotten the bus and were going to come around with the balloons and the beach balls, and it just, I mean, it just kind of takes your breath away. And it's great! 
I guess the word pride uh, enters your mind today. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> it's great. Sure, it's exciting. <laughs> yeah. It's wonderful. When you were standing there, what were you thinking about? Well, thinking back to when she was just a little toddler in a rocking chair. <laughs> yeah. And where she came to. Did you guys ever think uh, anything like this would happen? No, I didn't. No, not really. No. No? No. Even in your wildest dream? I got mad at her when she entered the Miss South Dakota pageant, and she never listened to me then. <laughs> it went up from there. <laughs> now, do you watch the show every night? Uh, every night that we uh, can, yes. I travel uh -huh. a lot, and sometimes I can't get it, but we, we're pretty loyal. What do people say when you tell them you're Mary Hart's dad? Oh, they don't believe it. I keep telling her that she looks like her mother, and she's got my legs. <laughs> Somebody said today she's a real combination, and I agree. Uh, yeah. Oh, sir. Oh, hi. Hi. Any thoughts for Mary today? Where, who are you from? Where are you from? We're, we're from uh, E.T. Now, let me tell you something about Mary. Everybody talks about how beautiful Mary's legs are. There is not one part of Mary's person, her personality, her soul, her body that is not beautiful. We've got the easy job, because having Mary out front makes it real easy for the rest of us. We love her. Look, a two-headed anchor host. <laughs> two guys from Hollywood.